Corey. Hey, hey, Instagram fans. This is Albert Taxman Corey. I'm giving you another tip to save money on your tax returns. Today, we're going to talk about tax deductions for landlords. Landlords who have rental property um, is a major deduction and is a, is a major deduction for a lot of homeowners and people who have rental property in the United States. Um, make sure make sure that you go to an accountant that can give you all the deductions. Today, I'm going to go over some of the deductions. But first, let me give you a little introduction to who we are. My name is Albert Corey for Corn Associates Accounting Services. Since 1985, we have assisted a lot of our clients. Um, in fact, Mr. Elman just joined us. Um, I've assisted our clients with their rental property and all their tax needs. What makes me pretty special, guys, is A, I'm a realtor for, since 1983, and B, I have, I run an investment company and management bank for, for over 30 properties. So what I'm telling you is what we've been doing every day for the last 30 years. Okay, so now on with our deductions. Okay, in order to deduct everything, you must use what they call a Schedule E. Um, sometimes, sorry, on the Instagram clients, just we're just trying to get as close as we can because this is a dual fee. Um, some of the deductions are, is if you have to go and find a, you know, put an ad in a newspaper, uh, buy flyers or advertise, that's a deduction. A deduction that a lot of my clients miss when they come into the office, my first time rental clients, is do you know if you have a car and you're running to the store, guess what? That's a deduction. Obviously, cleaning and maintenance. If you have an HOA, that's where you put your rentals. If you have insurance, if you pay for rentals insurance, legal and professional is where you would put um, if you pay somebody to do your tax return. I would advise you to pay somebody to do your tax return because we know all the deductions. The next one is insurance. Management fee is a part where if you're paying somebody to rent the apartment, I got clients who have apartments and other that either A, they don't want to be bothered, or B, um, they're in another city or town, you have the management company collect their rents. Obviously, interest and taxes. Um, one thing I got to notice this year was, is you have mortgage insurance. The mortgage insurance came later uh, because the dear government decided it was okay to do it. Um, and so they put it there. Okay, repairs, well, if anything breaks. Here's the thing you gotta learn about repairs, guys. If you do capital improvements, um, like fixing bathrooms, um, putting tile, you have to depreciate it, which means spread it, spread it over time. The next one is taxes. Okay, let's see if you can see my pointer here. We're on taxes. Um, taxes are your property tax. Um, any taxes you gotta pay. If in some cities we have rental, commercial rental property, um, if commercial, here's another one of my clients on site, okay, Gary. Um, if you have rental property, um, sometimes commercial properties, the city or the town you're in are gonna make you get a special license. Utilities, um, a lot of people pay the utilities. Here's a cute little note that most people know. If you have a duplex or triplex, and you live in one of the units, so therefore you now can deduct um, the whatever percentage that you don't live in, you can deduct it on your tax stuff. That's right, you can deduct everything. Okay, then you add up all the expenses and that could be a deduction. Now most rental people that I know of always take losses. The only quick trick on losses lately is, is if you make over $150,000, you will not be able to take the loss. Um, that's because the government says it's considered a passive loss and not allowed. One of the tricks that I'm telling people who are make those kind of money, which isn't hard to do today, is you open up a corporation and you come by here, that's for another broadcast. Who are we? We are Corey and Associates Accounting Services. Since 1985, we have assisted our clients. Um, we do all kinds of returns. Um, I'm a residential and commercial real estate specialist. I've had a mortgage license, and I've had, I'm a licensed 
um, realtor in the state of Florida. So I know all the deductions. Um, if you don't have to take my word on us, this all I would tell you is, by the way, this is live. So if you just Google us, watch, I'm gonna show you here. And by the way, we give you free cons consultation. Um, so look, if you Google Corey Cox, C-O-R-E-Y, Corey Cox in Hialeah, just Corey Cox. Look, you don't have to take my word on it. If you, I don't know if you could see it here. If you're on a Facebook Live post, um, you can see that we got 49 reviews, 47 and three quarters. So what's that telling you, boys and girls? That guess what? Don't take my word on it. Just look what other people are saying. And if you check Yelp, yeah, let me check Yelp. This is live, so, oh, look at it. Where is our Yelp, 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 Yelp? Look at Yelp. I got 36 five-star reviews. See, guys, so that's telling you. You don't have to take my word on it. You can listen to everybody else. We are here every day during the tax season, Monday through Friday, um, to serve you. All you got to do is go to, oh, my God, I don't have it here. Anymore. But just go to our website, www.com. And there should be a little pop-up box. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, sorry. We missed it again here. Um, this is live. You just go to the pop-up box and leave your details, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Like I said, our office is located at 1800 West 68th Street, Suite 134, Hialeah, Florida, 33014. Um, we're here for you. We're open every day. If you watch this video, whether on Facebook or Instagram, um, please share it and spread the wealth and spread the knowledge. Um, we want everybody to know because I don't want I want less people to pay money to the government. Um, thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.